Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to beautiful Buenos Aires, Argentina. We're back. We're back here in Buenos Aires uh, in the winter. <laughs> Everybody is out wearing their coats on a particularly cold day here in the winter in Buenos Aires. And we're in a familiar location. We're right in front of the Federico La Cross train station. And uh, right across the street here is the place we've been before. We were here the last time we visited Buenos Aires. This is Chacarita Cemetery, right over there, where we visited and we attempted to and were successful in finding the former tomb of Juan Perón, right in there in Chacarita. But today, we're here for a different reason. We're actually, in our first video, gonna be comparing two very famous and iconic pizzerias right here in the neighborhood of Chacarita. So come along. Before we do that, I just wanna say real quick, thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. So after our long, very, very long flight, three flights, two layovers, about, uh, I don't know, many, many hours of, uh, of flying and laying over in airports, when we finally got into uh, Aero Parque Jorge Newbery, uh, I tried to get a taxi and the taxi driver was like 100%, well all of them actually were like 100% trying to scam me. Um, they were charging way, way more than it should have cost to get from uh, the airport to the neighborhood where we were staying. So uh, I did what uh, I knew I could do, which was I broke out my Subay card, which I had from my previous stay here. I went to the, one of the kiosks in the airport and made sure it had money on it. I figured out how to hop a bus to a metro, to another metro, and ended up like two blocks away from the apartment. This is one of the things I love about Buenos Aires is uh, they have a very robust and very well organized uh, public transportation system. Meaning that like you can just go on Google Maps and the the routes that they show and the predictions on like when the bus is going to show up or where the metro stops are and like they're all right on there and it's very very easy to use some of the other countries we've been to uh not as easy they have public transportation and it's good public transportation but the information that you get about it uh on like google maps might not be correct but here in argentina in buenos aires it is almost always correct so that was great. Anyway, we're here, like I mentioned, in the neighborhood of Chacarita, and we're here on a Saturday, actually. And before we go over to the uh, first of our two pizza restaurants that we're gonna be trying, those two restaurants, by the way, are Santa Maria and El Imperio. And they're like two old, real famous um, uh, pizzerias here in the neighborhood. But before we do that, it looks like out here on Saturday, there is like some sort of, in the uh, plaza across the street out in front of the cemetery, they're having some sort of like a big like open air flea market because there's tons of people out here like selling stuff and tons of people shopping for stuff. You can walk through here real quick and just take a look. But it's kind of a chilly day for a flea market, but people still out here. Check out more of the market here. And then we're gonna head over to Santa Maria, which is right across the street. And interestingly, we're in a familiar place, but we're also gonna see a familiar face over at Santa Maria. Now, if you've been watching this channel, back when we uh, visited, uh, let's see, uh, Villa General Belgrano, outside of Cordoba, the little village that was founded by German settlers and where like the crew of the shipwrecked, um, what was the name of the ship? Uh, the, oh, why am I blanking on the name of the ship? There was a, there was a German 
a battleship that um, was sunk off the coast. Some of the some of the sailors settled in Vicia General Belgrano. Uh, ah, I'm blanking on the name. I'll put it in the description. But anyway, in that or in the uh, subtitle, in that video, we uh, we met another YouTuber actually randomly, who was there at the museum we were visiting at the same time. His name was Charlie, Charlie XP on YouTube. And uh, when I found out that I was going to be coming back to uh, Argentina got in contact with Charlie and uh, we're gonna meet up here at Santa Maria and we're gonna have pizza and he's the one who told me about Santa Maria he said this is his favorite pizza place in the neighborhood and uh, made me think well there's these two famous pizza places I might as well check them both out and see which one I like more so quick uh, history on both of them there's Santa Maria which is like right across the street here well, I'll get a little closer and we'll get a good view of it there it is, Santa Maria. Santa Maria Pizzeria. And uh, this one was opened in 1947. This is where we're gonna go. Before we head in there though, we'll go one block down, because at the other end of the block here, over by the train station, is El Imperio. Pizzeria El Imperio. Pizzeria Imperio. This one, uh, started in 1946, so one year earlier. So this was the first Imperio, and one year later, Santa Maria, down at the other end of the block. And uh, we're about due to uh, meet up with Charlie over at Santa Maria. So let's head over there, because I'm actually pretty hungry too. I haven't eaten anything, and I'm looking forward to this pizza. All right, he said he's here. I got a message. It said that he's here, so let's go on over and see. Let's see if our guy is here. This place, by the way, look at these empanadas. These delicious empanadas. And uh, they have pizza la molda, which is like deep dish pan pizza like this. And they also have like pizza a la piedra, like uh, stone fired pizza. Going. We're gonna head in. Yeah, there you go. Buenas. There he is, right there. The famous Charlie XP. Hey, my friend. Infamous Charlie XP. Hey. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Oh. How are you, Harry? Yes, everything's good. Everything's I'm okay. Uh, we we try uh, the typical pizza from Buenos Aires. Yes, perfecto. I'm making a video about the two pizzas in the barrio. Imperio and Santa Imperio Maria. Imperio and Santa Maria. Yes, yes. Sí, I'm sí. going to make a video about what is the best. Excellent. These two pizzas are classic in the barrio. And the crazy thing is that they were founded in the same year. En 1947, y hay un mito que dice que, que es del mismo dueño. ¿Sí? No se sabe. Y, y la, la pregunta importante: ¿cuál es tu favorita? Uy, eh, mi, uh, se me volvió loca la cámara. Eh, ¿Cuál es mi favorita? En mi caso, mi favorita es la Santa María. Por eso, por eso te, te cité en esta pizzería. ¿Sí? Eh, la otra es más popular, siempre la vas a ver más llena de gente eh, porque está muy cerca de la estación de tren y de subte sí. y la gente sale del tren o se está por meter al tren pasa y come la pizza y sigue sí. eh, entonces la otra tiene más afluencia de público eh, esta siempre es un poco más tranquila y el nivel de la pizza es similar, es un, al mismo nivel a mí me gusta un poquito más esta Perfecto. Charlie likes Santa Maria better. 
We're gonna see. We're gonna see which one we like better. But uh, I'm gonna catch up with uh, Charlie. We're gonna get some pizza, and uh, we'll we'll see you soon. When the pizza comes out, we'll see you. We'll see you then. All right, the pizza has arrived, and it looks delicious. Now for the challenge, and the uh, video that we're doing here. Uh, this is the important pizza. This is the slice of mozza, right? Mozzarella, just cheese pizza. And we're gonna be comparing the mozza here and the mozza over at Imperio. But in addition, Charlie told me that I had to try this, which is fugazetta, fugazetta reena. Rellena, fugazeta, relleno con queso y jamón, which is basically like a stuffed pizza with onions on top, ham, it has cheese stuffed in it, and this is called fina? Esto es faina. Faina? Faina, so it's like, it's like made from um, chickpeas, garbanzo beans. So we're gonna try that, and uh, yeah, buen provecho. So we have the, we've eaten the pizza, it's delicious. It was very delicious. Um, and for dessert, uh, Charlie suggested sopa inglese, which is not a soup. Of course, when you hear sopa, you think soup, but it's not a soup. It is a cake. It is a delicious cake, like this. We each got one. I don't know, because uh, call it soap. <laughs> hey. uh, maybe for the wine, I, I don't know. <laughs> But it is doused in a little bit of sweet wine and it looks delicious, it smells delicious and uh, we're gonna try this to finish off our meal. And I think it's gonna be delicious. Alright, so we finished the dessert, it was very delicious. We've been sitting here talking for like an hour, uh, but it was very good. We're gonna have to try Imperio. And that'll be in a future part of the video, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm too full. I'm very, very, very full right now. And uh, there's no way I can go over there and eat another slice. So we'll come check it out and we'll decide once for all which uh, pizzeria in here in Chacarito that we like the best. They have banners of all, all the teams, all the Argentine soccer teams, there's River Platte. And of course you have and the teams from Italy. Boca. Fiorentina. Yeah. Italian. These are Italian teams. Forza Milan. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. There he is. Messi here. Right there, a young, a young Messi with the long hair. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, and Maradona over there. Maradona. All the pizza by the slice here. You can buy and eat at these little places right here. All the delicious desserts. This has a real old school kind of feel this place and that makes sense because you know it was uh it's from 1947 right this place is great i enjoyed it very much enjoyed this very much glad we went to this place we're gonna try emperio down there like i said on a different day and uh i think that's gonna be it for this part of the video charlie thank you very much amigo Thank you. It, it was good seeing you. It was good seeing you. And um, you, you want to say anything real quick? Uh, I don't know. I, I enjoyed this time with Gary. Uh, thank you, bro, uh, friend, for your gift, my own coins, and see you soon. All right. So it was cool seeing Charlie. Um, we actually just like literally met that one time uh, in that other video that I had in Cordoba. But since then. Like, we've been talking to each other online, you know, because he has a YouTube channel, I have a YouTube channel. We've been talking about stuff, I watch his videos, he's got really good content, 
Um, it is in Spanish, so of course for all of my Spanish-speaking viewers, no problem. For any of the English-speaking viewers, might be a problem. Um, but you can watch with subtitles. He's been grinding it out, and he has some really cool content from here in Argentina. So definitely go check out Charlie XP. Link to his channel in the description. And um, yeah, it was cool. We had fun. I gave him some coins and some like money from the different countries that I've been to as like a little souvenir. And uh, we'll we'll definitely like uh, be hearing more from Charlie. I hope. Uh, maybe if, even if if we don't see him while we're here and. In Buenos Aires again, I will be checking out his videos on his channel for sure, and I think you guys should be checking out his videos as well. Okay, welcome back. It is uh, the following Saturday, and uh, I actually wanted to go to Imperio to try the pizza like the very next day because, well, pizza is a great motivator, but for science, for the integrity of the experiment, I decided we need to go uh, on the same day of the week at around the same time and order the exact same thing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to Imperio. We're going, it's a Saturday, it's the following Saturday. We're going at about the same time, about one o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna order the exact same thing. One slice of mozza, one slice of uh, Fugazetta Regina. And uh, a slice of uh, ret faina, faina, that like, um, I don't know, that like chickpea bread sort of thing that we put on top of the pizza. I don't know, it, it was very delicious. We're gonna order the same thing, and we're gonna see how it is. Okay, we ordered the same thing that we got at the other place, at Santa Maria. We ordered uh, one piece of mozza, one piece of fucazetta rellena, the one with the onions and the stuff with cheese. Uh, we got a piece of faina and uh, a chop, a glass of uh, Schneider beer. The exact same thing that we ordered. And when we're done, we're gonna get the uh, sopa inglesa, that cake with the Moscato wine on it. We're gonna order all the same thing. The place is uh, it's a little bit busy. At um, at the same time, Fugazetta mozzarella y faina, ¿no? Sí, sí, muchas gracias. The place is a little busy at about the same time in the afternoon, and uh, I imagine it's going to get busier. That's what happened at the other place. And like uh, you know, I'm getting used to uh, Argentina again. People eat lunch late, and they eat dinner late here too. Also, right? Every all the meals are late. Everybody just sort of gets up later and stays up later. In, uh, in Argentina. Muchas gracias. Uh, so I'm getting used to that again, especially after Ecuador, uh, which is like our beer is here, by the way. Um, Ecuador is like basically uh, the opposite. Like the people eat early in Ecuador. The dinner sort of is like early at an early time, or at least that's what it was. That's what I noticed. But like, you know, here in Argentina, you got to get used to it again. Lunch is at, you know, like two o'clock in the afternoon, and then they have like a merienda, just like a late afternoon snack at like five or six o'clock p.m., and then dinner is like nine, 10 o'clock at night. So, um, we're actually here a little bit early for Argentina standards, but uh, when our food gets here, we'll show it off and we'll, uh, we'll try it out, and I'm sure it's gonna be very good. This place looks very popular. Um, and then when we're finally done with everything, we'll compare the prices. We'll do a comparison of like which we think is better based on, you know, everything, right? And uh, we'll come to a final conclusion. Okay, we've got our fugazetta rellena, our piece of mozza, our piece of faina. We have our Schneider chop beer. And we have the famous or infamous um, pizzeria napkins uh, that don't actually clean anything. And uh, yeah, these things are these things are terrible. I didn't actually get into this uh, too much at the other um, at the other place because we were joking around me and Charlie about these napkins. But these things really are in like every pizzeria that I've been to um, in. Uh, in Buenos Aires and like in other places too in other restaurants and they're terrible it's basically like a sheet of um, 
like tissue paper that you would use uh, to like wrap gifts, right? That you would put in like a gift bag um, if you were giving someone a Christmas gift or something like that. Uh, it's it's really terrible. It does not clean anything. Um, they're basically the most useless napkins I've ever seen in my entire life. But I guess that sort of like adds character, right, to the place. Anyway, let's we're gonna try this and we're gonna see how it is uh, compared to uh, compared to the other place. Okay, it has arrived. The sopa inglesa. Sopa inglesa with moscato, the like sweet wine, doused in. We're gonna give it a try. They've got a whole uh, bar, cafe section here, pastries. You can see the whole place. It's super busy. We're gonna get out of here. But uh, like I said, it got a lot busier as it got later. Really cool place, very cool environment. I liked it. Little Imperio. So I liked it a lot. Just like the other place, very, very good. Um, top notch. And I think I'm super full right now. Like, really full. I think we're gonna go just across the street here, over to uh, right out in front of the cemetery where we started the video and uh, we'll do a final thought our final thought on what we thought our comparison between the two places all right I will say that first off that pizza was really really good at both of those places um, and it's very very high quality like the ingredients are really high quality uh, and because of that I think it's pretty expensive like not gonna lie for um, at Santa Maria, it was like, including tip, it was like $17. And at uh, Imperio, including tip, it was like $19. So those prices, like for that size of a meal, two like big, thick slices of high quality pizza with like um, the, the faena that, came, that we had with it too, um, a, a glass of beer and like uh, that, that cake, that very fancy cake, the sopa inglesa with the Moscato wine on it. Like all of that with a tip in the United States, that would be 17 to $20. Like that's expected. But here in Argentina, like that's pretty expensive. Um, and there are other pizzerias in this neighborhood and other pizzerias that I've tried in other neighborhoods um, in Buenos Aires when we were here before. And uh, it's not nearly that expensive. But I will say the pizzerias in this neighborhood that are cheaper, they, they have cheaper pizza, right? Like you can tell it's cheaper. The quality of the ingredients is, is cheaper. And there's no, they're basically just like to-go places. There's no uh, place to sit down. There's no like, you know, the history of these places and the ambiance and like the, just the experience of going and like sitting in that cool old pizzeria that like hasn't, probably hasn't been like renovated since, you know, it opened in 1947. Um, and it's kept that, like that history. It's just like, it just oozes history and character when you're in there. So, like, you're paying for all of that, too. All of that experience, like, of going there. So, it's definitely expensive. But, um, I would say Imperio, like I said, is like, it was about $2 more expensive for the exact same meal. And uh, now, the ultimate uh, decision, which one did we like better? And I will warn you ahead of time, Imperio fans. Sorry, I think I'm going to break your heart here. But, um, I like Santa Maria better. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say why. Um, it was pretty close, honestly. Like I said, high quality ingredients, high quality pizza. Um, the the ambiance and like the experience of going there was kind of the same for both. It's this just old school pizzeria kind of experience. I don't know how how else to explain it. It's just very very cool um, experience. And pretty much everything was like equal. Okay, so like the sopa inglesa was very good at both. I, would, I wouldn't be able to rank one higher than the other. The beer, we got the exact same kind of beer. Um, now, the pizza itself, the, the thing that I think gives Santa Maria the edge, the, the cheese was very good in both, and both were very tasty, but the two things that I think give Santa Maria the edge were one, 
the crust at Santa Maria was like perfect, perfect. It's kind of a thick um, like crust. It's a kind of like a low gluten crust, so it's not very like, um, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like, like a lot of high gluten pizza crust has like a lot of big fat bubbles in it. And it's very stringy, um, like doughy, like the dough is very like stringy, um, but it's not like that. It's more like a, uh, like a deep dish kind of a, a bready crust. And the thing that made, there is, <laughs> <laughs> While I'm doing this, there is like a mass of pigeons that just showed up right in front of me. Just wanted to show that off. Look, the thing that made um, Santa Maria better was the the bottom of the crust at Santa Maria was like perfectly cooked and it was really hard and like crunchy. So like when you cut through it, you have to eat these with a fork and knife. This is not like eat with your hands pizza. When you cut through it, it was like soft all the way until the very bottom and then the bottom was this very like firm, crunchy crust. So you got this like really cool, um, like two textures, like different textures uh, in the crust. And also the crust was like cooked, cooked perfectly. Now at Imperio, unfortunately the crust was a little bit soggy. Um, it didn't have that like crisp bottom and the bottom on the muza especially was a little bit burnt just a little and it tasted a little bitter because of that um and then also at santa maria the faena was better it was uh warm like they had heated it up so it was hot along with the pizza the faena at um imperio was not hot it was like room temperature which was a bit of a turnoff, especially when you put it onto your mutza in the way that like Charlie showed us how to do. Uh, not, not, not great. So for those two reasons, and because it was like $2 cheaper, I'm gonna have to give the edge to Santa Maria. Now Santa Maria, of course, is the place that Charlie said he liked the best. Um, it is not as popular and I would say not as famous as Imperio. If you look on Google Maps, like Imperio has more reviews. Um, Imperio is like closer to the train station. It's right across the street from the train station, whereas Santa Maria is like one block away. So I can see how like Imperio is more famous, but if you ask me, Santa Maria is better. So if you ever come here to Chacarita, and you wanna try like really, really uh, good Buenos Aires style Argentine pizza in a really cool old sort of historic pizzeria, um, skip Imperio. Sorry Imperio, but yeah, skip it. Go to uh, Santa Maria instead and try their pizza because man, it was really, really good. It was so good in fact that we went back a couple more times and we had this delicious pizza with ham and red pepper. We had another slice of uh, fugazetta rellena and this pizza calabresa, which has like uh, almost like pepperoni on top. We also tried this delicious empanada that was filled with uh, ground beef and onions and little pieces of chopped up hard boiled egg. Super, super delicious. Yeah. I think that's going to be it. I think it's going to be it for the video. This is a good first video in Buenos Aires. Most of the time when we come to a city, we go like to the Centro Historico, right? To like see the city. But we've already been here in Buenos Aires, so we already know what's up. So instead, we went to pizza. We went for our very first video back in Buenos Aires for pizza. And uh, yeah, it was worth it. It was really good. So that's it. That's going to be it for the video. I want to thank, once again, Charlie XP for coming out. Um, great dude awesome youtube channel check him out link to his channel down in the description and um there's plenty more to come here from buenos aires so uh we'll see you in the next one